Hey Bears, Eric here, and we have to talk about this new generation of heterosexual cisgender women. We have to talk about it, because they are wilding out everywhere, privilege on full display, doing things that if a trans woman did it, or a gay man did it, any, any queer person did it, they would be losing their minds. But they're doing it with privilege, because they know that there's going to be no repercussions from their community for doing this, because they never hold any of their people accountable for it. So uh, we're going to talk about this video from Morgan. Uh, we're going to get into it. It's a clip here. But before we do that, thank you so much for watching my video. If you go on to enjoy this video and you like this kind of content, please consider joining the revolution to dismantle this negative algorithm that YouTube has established where you see a lot of really bad stuff show up at the top of searches. We're already seeing results on this. And it's all because of us fighting back. If you want to be a part of that, hit subscribe to my channel, hit like, and leave a comment down below. Let's make a difference today. I know you can do it. We're already seeing the effects of it. All right, so let's watch this clip from Morgan, and then we're going to laugh and clown her because this is just really, it's really, really dumb. Let's get into this clip. Guys, I'm here at, in Kansas City, and I came across this all-gender bathroom. Uh, I want to point out, this isn't the first time people have talked about this all-gender bathroom. I feel like people are just doing it now to, to get uh, clout online. Literally all-gender. Look at this. <laughs> 20 stalls, all-gender. All Pay attention to that. It's really important. 20 stalls stalls keep that like bookmark that in your head this is so this is crazy i'm crazy forgive me for filming in a bathroom so she's like forgive me for filming in a bathroom as she's walking into an area she has no idea what she's in store for i'm assuming she didn't go in here and scout this out so she's walking into an area that's supposed to be a bathroom with a camera running and she's like excuse me for doing this not knowing if someone around the corner is using the restroom this kind of stuff, if a trans woman did this or a gay man did this uh, at any point in time, in any capacity, they would get trashed on the internet for it. But her community will not hold her accountable for this because they believe that what she's saying uh, supersedes, it's more important than the the uh, personal space and the privacy of the people in the restroom. But this is all gender. This is, I hate this. I absolutely hate what what do you hate about it are you going to explain what you hate about it i mean is it just is that too extreme for you like filming in the bathroom is totally on brand but explaining why you hate it i mean unless you're just dog whistling to people which we talk about quite often they love to this this community loves to use a fucking dog whistle i've never seen an all gender bathroom i'm not going in here i don't like you were just in there you were literally just in there with people who were just going in to use the bathroom. Like there was nothing happening. You walked in there with your camera running, like you didn't give a fuck about anybody's privacy. And then you're like, hey, I'm not going to use this fucking bathroom. Not going to happen. Okay, sis. As I'm here. At All right. So let's unpack this nonsense. We saw the video. We've heard what she has to say. Let's really break down what is happening here. So this is in Kansas City. This is like the third video I've seen about these all gender bathrooms. So let me explain it for a third time for the idiot bigots out there that don't understand this. This is actually more safe than the gendered bathrooms, first and foremost. And let me explain why. These are individual rooms with doors that lock. They're not normal stalls. It's like if you go to your barber shop or your hairdresser or your friend's house or some other small store where they have one bathroom that locks with a toilet and a sink in it. That's what these are. They're individual bathrooms. They're actually more safe than the other ones, than the gendered bathrooms. The city fought for this. Lots of people fought for this because they wanted to make it easier and more accessible for people to go in and use these individual bathrooms and feel safe, including families and people with children that might want to change their diapers or whatever. They want a little privacy. That's why this is important. The only thing that is shared are the sinks when you walk out. That that like bank of sinks, that is the only thing where people would be mingling together. The other the stalls of these uh bathrooms are separate. They're all separate. So your outrage is just it's just dumb shit. Uh, secondly, this facility, this airport has gendered bathrooms. There are still gendered bathrooms. This was a new thing that was added into the airport. So if you don't want to use those, you don't have to, but there's no reason to pretend to be offended or upset about it when you walk in and there's nothing going on. Thirdly, 
Do not film in the fucking bathroom. I'm saying this just straight up. Uh, you've got the privilege of being a, a straight cisgender woman and you're like, I'm just going to film in the bathroom. No, fuck no. You don't get to do that. Other people shouldn't be doing that. No one should be filming in the fucking bathroom. If I'm in the bathroom using the bathroom and you come in with the fucking camera, you're invading my privacy. And I think in some states, it's actually illegal to film inside a bathroom. Should be illegal in all states, but I digress. So this entire video is so stupid. Like the privilege of the straight community, the privilege of the cis community to just do shit like this and not think about it. It's very telling. It's giving privilege. It's giving you don't give a fuck. It's giving transphobia. It's giving homophobia. It's giving all these things. And it doesn't fly past us. You might think that we're too stupid to see it, but we're not. And this is someone who has loves Jesus in their profile on Twitter. Okay. All right, sis. I guess. Go film in more bathrooms while you're sitting here calling people degenerates. <laughs>